Hello everybody, welcome back to Margate to Glory. My name is Johnny, this is JDFL, and thank you so much for jumping over to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you're back, enjoy the video. And here we have the league, or at least a portion of it. And things have improved a little bit since the last episode. Obviously, we had that dire loss against Dartford, who since then have lost pretty much all their games, which doesn't bode well for us. But we have come along and picked up two wins and a draw since that game. And Wabo, Norman Wabo, what a legend. Six goals in four games. He is bossing it in this league, to be fair. And Richie Afrankese cannot get a look in. And 8.07, he's doing okay. And we got the new lad here, Lennon Peak, who's leading the way in assists. Three in four games. It's all going well. Our team are performing Half decently, there's a few very good performances there. There's some really good standout goals and assists. A jazz, 0-5, two goals, doing so, so well. Uh, and the tactic itself is also looking very strong. So today, we're going to step away from the league very briefly with two games. We have one up against Harringay in the FA Cup second qualifying round. And then we're going to jump into the Eastbourne Borough. Two games on camera today, so let's zip into that first game. Okay, first up is the FA Cup against Haring. You were at home and I made one change. Richie Afrankes is coming for Wabo. I want to rest him for the league. He's performing so well. So Green and Gold, Porter and Doria Henry in the wings with Swift and Parker in the middle, smashing it those two out. Swifty boy, you stepped up this league with style. I don't need to look at George Forrest, who is flirting around the background, but that's where you're staying for the moment. George Wilkinson and Clan in the midfield. We are rotating the midfield, and this is what we're going to go with for today. Wallace, Kasinga, Madeira, and Peak. These three are bossing it. And Afran Kese up top, as I mentioned. Some are going to struggle with fitness, but I'm certain we're going to do okay. I don't know much about this opposition today. I don't know what league they're in, but I'm confident we're going to win, as I always am with this team. And here we are in our beautiful blue kits up against the dirty yellow and blue boys. Let's give a quick shout off the back. And in the first two minutes, they are deep in their half. And look how high we're pressing. Fantastic from the boys there, to be fair. And the ball comes up to Richie, but he loses out. But we are pressing very high, which means we've got, what, six or seven players within 30 yards of the goal. And Richie Afrankese has put the ball four yards behind the goal into the net. First goal of the season, which really doesn't pay a true story because he hasn't played any minutes at all look at this great ball from georgie well done lad over the back and richie to be fair the keeper should have saved it but take it insta highlight are we going to get another goal is this going to be another battering like we had last season keeper megan and doing some little dives there and we've picked it up again we are pressing so high up the pitch it's very pleasing to see and they can go long all they want with our center backs we will mop up those balls all day long Georgie, great ball out to Kasinga Medea, who just about keeps it in. Porter's there supporting him. Picks it up back to George. Oh, it's a bit of a melee in the box, but comes to nothing. What a good start. And I'm looking to rest some of these boys. So if he can go a few goals up, then all the better. We can give these boys a little bit of a break. I don't want them stressing. I want them relaxed. Right, Michelle Parker. Big throw, my son. Keeper's there, though. Punches it. George Wilkinson, what a goal, my son. On the volley, first time hit. That was like a Paul Scholes, wasn't it? Let's see this again. George Scholes, keeper. What are you doing, mate? Catch that one. Comes out, Georgie boy on his left peg. Boosh, straight into the back of the net. You have got to love that. Well done, my son. 2-0, 20 minutes gone. We are looking good value for money at the moment. Georgie boy with an 8.0 in the middle. Why is everybody upset is it because i keep demanding more they're frustrated with me okay well in that case lads i will encourage you does that change your mood you're just uninterested god damn it george i'll pull you off now 8.0 half time 2-0 mm, we've done okay to be fair we've played better but still um things are going well but you are capable of better everyone's calm and composed i'll take that we'll give you 10 minutes lads i'm gonna make some changes then Come on, let's get another couple of goals. Long throw, Michelle Parker. Keeper's there again. Oh, he catches it this time. He's learned his lesson. Go on, Miles. Boosh. Brilliant kick. Just what you want, mate. Dorio keeps him well. Back to Clennon. Now, centre midfield was very wide there. And really, this is a bit of a sloppy start. It's a bit of a tennis match. Just 
hitting it back and forth, nothing much coming of it. Ben Swift gets it up there, but George brings it down. Great ball, Richie. Oh my word, George Wilkinson, mate. You are pulling the strings today, mate. Two assists, a worldie of a goal, and both assists have been absolutely beautiful. The ball comes down to Georgie Beer, head up on his left peg, get through there, Richie boy, and tucks it into the bottom corner. Keeper is down on his knees. What a good game. Right, on that note, let's make some subs. Who's coming off? Georgie boy, you're going to come off. Celebrate your very good performance. No, well, lad, you're going to go on for Richie. And we're also going to bring on... Let's bring off Ben now, mate. You are struggling for fitness, mate. Otherwise, I'd leave you on. But George does need a run out. Get his confidence up. Like, you know, it's got to be done. Let's demand a bit more from these new boys coming on. Let's see if we can... Get some more goals. Why not? Like, minutes are ticking by. 20 minutes left. Let's fire these boys up and let's go a bit more positive to keep the ball. Now, they got a free kick deep in our half, but we've cleared it well. We are so good in the air at the back. We clear it very well. Oh, that's terrible. As I said, we're good at the back. That happens. For God's sake. That is not good at all. What are you going to do, huh? What are we going to do indeed? Can we get... Ah, terrible. Keeper should have saved it. Defender should have stopped it. Bit of an absolute mess up all around. They had one shot on target and they scored a goal. Come on, boys. And the minutes are ticking away and that is up us. Let's not speak too soon. Let's not speak too soon. Go on, Jazz, boy. Clear it. Go on, Noel. Go on, my boy. You haven't done much of this entire save. This could be your opportunity. Be selfish. Be selfish. Oh, unlucky, mate. I was rooting for you to score then, but not to be. Maybe in another another 12 months, I'll give you another game. Go on, Richards boy. Every club in the world is after you at the moment, but I will not let them take you. Oh, good save. That was a rocket of a shot. And that's it. Full-time whistle's done. We are into the third qualifying round, I believe it is. Okay, next game, Eastbourne Borough, and we'll find out who we're going to play in that third qualifying round. See you in a bit. Okay, before we get into the second game, we are going to be playing Witness in the FA Cup third qualifying round. Witness, who I always thought were a rugby league team, turns out they know how to kick a round ball as well. But looking at that, they definitely play in Witness's rugby league pitch because that is not a football pitch. That is a very strange pitch, isn't it? Very, very strange. Anyway, let's get into this game. Okay, back to the league, and we made two changes. Norman Wabo back in for Richie Afrancese, and Moncur has come in for Michael Clunan. And Mikey Christian is first debut. I'll put him on the bench. And uh, maybe this little 16 year old as well can come on for Georgie Boy. That will do you. Right, let's get into this game. We'll see where the opposition are in the league. Eastbourne Borough. I'm not too sure myself, but we'll give them a good run out. Give them, yes, I want to keep my form going. We are doing well. Take that early dip. That early loss out of the way. And we're doing okay. And Jazz Wall is from out wide. An early chance under the spotlights of Margate. How beautiful is this look at night time? Let me just pause it quickly. No, nope, they will not let me. They want to show me what they're all about. Kasinga Medea, back to Jay Porter. Go on, my son. You've been relatively quiet this season, boy. George, you haven't been quiet. Oh, oh no, it's gone to his head. Clearly, me telling him he's good goes to his head. But no, he's back on the ball again. Go on, George, you boy. Show us, show us your magic. Show us your magic. God damn it, Georgie. Right, pause it. Eastbourne Borough are 20th. Oh, right. Well, let's demand a bit more off the bat. We want to be winning this game. Win this game, and we are well and truly challenging for... Let's just call it playoffs. I don't want to say top of the league because, you know, we're not, we're not looking to go up this season. We're looking to maybe challenge... Maybe skirt with the playoffs. Early season form said about 8th or ninth. They pulled it back to Georgie. Good ball, good ball. Lennon peek at the back stick in acres of space. And George Wilkinson is an assist magician at the moment. Oh, my word. Look at this again. Back to Wilkinson, who gets his head up. Look at the curl on this ball. Peak, acres of space. Great head of my son. Outstanding. and Which puts us... I can't look at any of the highlights. Sorry, I can't look at any of the stats because they just want to show me highlights. Go on, Wabo. Go on, you've got him. Put the pressure on. Oh, I thought he was going to get there then. 
Holland mops it up anyway. And are they going to capitalise? Oh, Swifty boy, what a tackle, mate. You get arrested for ones like that in the Premier League. Jesus. Peek out on the right-hand side into Freddie. Great ball, great ball, great goal. Kasinga Medea. I tell you what, our midfielders, they have got eyes on the side of their head and the back of their head. Just eyes everywhere. Peek into Freddie eventually. And this little pass here, look at that. And first time shot by Kasinga Medea makes it 2-0. And we are up to third position in the league with just Aldershot and Weymouth above us, who are two very good teams, Aldershot in particular. Right, get into the dressing room. I'm very poised. I'm delighted with the performance. I've enjoyed every second of that game so far, not even a lie. And all these highlights, look at us thinking it about. Porter and Wilkinson, selfishly, we're not going to give it to anybody apart from Kasinga Medea. Come on, my son, don't lose it. God's sake. Well done, Swifty. Snap him. Oh, mate. You should have gone through him then. Rollinson. Rollinson. Good save, Crean. Swifty got back here to put pressure on, but I'd like to think, mate, if that was a real game, you would have gone through him. Evens out wide. Good, good block in. I love that. Don't give them the opportunity to get the ball in. They've gone old school 4 4 2, and we are more than matching it in the middle of the park with these two boys. Jazz is dropping back a little bit, and we're overloading in the middle of the park but oh no just come out our right back must be all over the shot and to be fair if that's all they've got i will take that all day long right jazzy boy into freddie moncure into wilkinson our midfield dynamic duo for once we don't keep it on the floor we've just hoofed it up there which i don't like to see i like to see us keeping composed and passing it around oh freddie lad what a tackle peek out white put the afterburners on son go on Lovely. Dorio Henry, put the ball in. Goes past one. Great ball. Oh, it's cleared. And Rolling Center is going to break it. But, oh, oh, oh. Georgie Boy with an outstanding tackle. Kasinga Medea can't get the ball in first attempt. Is he going to have another one? He does. Peaks at the back post. His second header of the game. His second goal of the game makes it 3 0. And he does a tumble toss to celebrate. The boys in the bench, they're not bothered. They want to be a part of it on the pitch. And do you know what? I'm going to give them the opportunity with Josh Bond, who is our 16-year-old regen. If you don't know what regens are, they're players who are fictional in the game. As people retire, they're replaced with regenerated or new gens. We won't get into that argument. And this lad is only 16. We're going to give him his first run out. Instead of Jazz, and then Wabo comes off of Richie, and then Christian can have his debut at right back. I do not want to touch those midfield boys because they are living the dream and here's one of them freddy into georgie boy but it doesn't come of anything let's demand a bit more i want more boys bondy oh he almost gets an assist why is bondy on free kicks he's just strutted in here the 16 year old with a seven free kick i've got it boys i want to run the show i like it mate got a bit of confidence oh michelle parker off the line love to see it three nil can we keep a clean sheet Stay in third position and really cement our position as a true challenger for the rat for the Vanarama National South. Vanarama National. That's a tough one to roll off the tongue, that is. Let's go positive. Let's let the minutes tick by. To be fair, they've been the better team in terms of shots. We have more possession, much more clinical. I'd love to keep a clean sheet. Well done, Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Terrible ball. Oh, oh, he's offside. There's been some serious fist bumping in this episode, didn't it? Jesus, man. And the minutes are ticking by. 90th minute, 91 minutes from deep. Swifty into Porter. Back to Swifty. Keep it on the floor. Jay, simple. Georgie. Come on, mate. Swifty mops it up again. I tell you what, son. Oh, we are just cutting out the middle, man. We're going from midfield to strikers, and we don't need to. There's another example. And we lose the ball doing that so often. I need to work on that with some player instructions. But this is looking optimistic. Richie, come on, son, all the way. Final highlight of the game, you'd like to think. A minute left. We've got another chance, possibly, for another goal, or maybe a highlight for those. Throw in here. Who's taking it? Oxley Chamberlain into peak. Into Ox. Go on, son, all the way up there. 
Cut inside. Freddy's there. Simple pass. Eight. What is going on here? Our passing has just gone all over the shop. And we're on key highlights. And there it is. End of the game. 3-0. A very, very good victory. We had a strong period at the end of the second half, which saw us grab the game by the scruff of the neck and well and truly batter them which puts us into third position mind how good is that the season preview tells us that we should be down in ninth position we are exceeding expectations but i'm not bothered i, I think we're going to challenge for the playoffs this season and to do that we are going to zip forward a bit so where are we now we're in middle of november let's get these games out of the way the emirates third qualifying we're going to batter witness so let's come back for maybe the older shot game the big team in the league we're going to go for that game. We're going to have a one-off against all the shots in the Vanarama League South. See how we can do against the title favourites. And I think that will be the real litmus test to see where we're going to finish this season. If you have enjoyed that episode, please hit the thumbs up button. It means an awful lot to me. And I'll see you guys here for the next episode of Margate to Glory. You guys take care.